U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says that the path to Israeli normalization with Saudi Arabia is being hampered by policies in Judea and Samaria. Blinken said the ongoing unrest in the territories has made U.S. efforts to broker a normalization agreement between Israel and Saudi Arabia a lot tougher, if not impossible. It was the starkest warning yet from the Biden administration that Israeli policy in the territories has harmed efforts to further integrate Israel into the region. The top U.S. diplomat went on to tell the Council of Foreign Relations event in New York that turmoil in Judea and Samaria could tank normalization efforts altogether. Israel is cracking down on Jewish vigilantes in Judea and Samaria. Defense Minister Gallant ordered four of those arrested for disturbances to be held for six months in administrative detention without charges on suspicion of involvement in recent attacks against Palestinians. The measure is rarely used against Jewish Israelis and comes amid a recent spate of vigilante attacks on Palestinian villages, which followed a Palestinian terror shooting that killed four Israelis last week. Israeli national soccer teams continued to make history as the U-21 team advanced last night to the quarterfinals of the 2023 European Championships being held in Georgia. The upset 1-0 victory over the Czech Republic propelled the Israeli team to the final eight matchup against host Georgia on Saturday night. The victory, coupled with England's 2-0 win over Germany, sent Guy Luzon's squad into the quarterfinals. So we know the news is volatile and fast-paced, and we want to let you know that ILTV's new app is now available. So if you want to stay connected to the latest news from Israel, the Middle East, and the Jewish world, download our app now on all your devices. It's available in the App Store for both Android and iPhone.